Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully the camera won't fall. Hello, YouTube viewers, and welcome back. It's Sammy Defy here, aka Michi Wichi. I would like to thank my new subscribers, all subscribers and viewers for subscribing, for rating, for favoring, for your comments, for the support. I really appreciate it. Today, I bring you a review on a product that I purchased recently on CVS. I paid for it uh, $7 plus tax, and it's called Tijin Pro Tijin buttercream daily moisturizer or tgin <laughs> however you pronounce it so i bring you a review on that i'm gonna do some um twist in my hair and i'm gonna tell i'm gonna let you know how i feel about the product okay remember that this video is gonna be bilingual so it's gonna be in spanish and in english Hola queridos amigos que tú sintonizas de nuevo aquí a Semida 5 Acas Michiwichi. Bienvenidos al canal. Hoy les traigo, traigo un review, un repaso, una reseña acerca de este producto que compré reciente. Eh, se llama T-Jean o T-Jean. Y esta es como una cremita para el pelo que la pueden usar diaria. Ok. Uh, es la primera vez que voy a tratar este producto y les voy a dar... Eh, My honest opinion about it. Les voy a decir cómo me siento acerca del producto. Así que me voy a hacer unos twists. Con la cremita. Empecemos. Let's get started. Y acuérdense que este video va a ser bilingüe. Voy a empezar en inglés y después en español. Ok, people. So, this is, like I said, the first time I buy this product. I heard about it actually on Facebook. They're promoting this product on Facebook so much, the TG uh, Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Uh, there's a whole line on this product. I decided to use uh, this one or purchase this one. Okay. It's made for natural hair. Product. It smells pretty, pretty decent. The consistency is creamy, but it's not that thick. I thought that it was going to be super thick because... It says buttercream, and usually the buttercreams are very thick, but this one is kind of like on the medium size, you will say it's not that thick. It's a little bit watery, mm, so we'll see. Okay, let me tell you what else. The direction says um, you can use this product daily if you want to. Uh, apply a small amount on hands, rub together, and work. And work through your hair. Uh, it says that you can also use this as a setting cream to create soft and smooth, shiny two-strand twist, which that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, and the benefits of it, it says that it hydrates your curls and coils. It improves uh, manageability, I hope I say that right. Reduces frizz and promotes healthy hair growth. As you can see, I don't need no more hair, hair growth, but, you know, we'll see as we go along. Okay. Este producto indica que lo pueden usar diario para hidratar sus rizos o el pelo um, rizo comprimido. Okay. También hidrata y también... Um, Manageability. Estoy tratando de traducir eso en mi mente. También um, este producto hace más fácil peinar el cabello. ¿Ok? Reduce la estática o el frizz y promueve eh, el crecimiento del cabello, dejando el cabello suave, con mucho brillo y muy suave. El papel aguanta todo lo que le digan, pero vamos a ver si esto funciona. Así que quédense en sintonía. Stay tuned. Ay, perdonen. Hola, Elizabeth. Hola, Georgia. Okay. So, um, before I apply this product, I'm going to use Carol's Daughter um, Vanilla, I'm sorry, Black Vanilla Pure Oil. I'm going to use it first to kind of like seal, and then I will use this product. Antes de aplicar... Este producto, voy a aplicar este aceitito de Carol's Daughter. Se llama el Black Vanilla. Ok, ok. Pure Hair Oil. Estoy en la lenta y me estoy moviendo lento y hablando un poquito lento porque 
de la forma que tengo el teléfono aguantado, puede ser que se caiga, porque cogí um, la casa de, una de las casas de Barbie de mi hija, la puse aquí en el medio, también cogí un potecito de, de, de crema de CeraVe, y entonces tengo el teléfono, o so, si me muevo mucho, maybe se cae el teléfono. I'm, I'm moving so slow and talking so slow and kind of like robot type of thing because the way I have my phone, um, <laughs> there's a big probability that the phone, that the, uh, phone will fall. Okay, I have, um, I borrow my daughter's uh, Barbie house and then on top of the Barbie house I put um, a, jug of, a jar of CeraVe cream and then I have the phone. So that's why I'm kind of like, I'm trying not to move that much. I don't want this... Uh, thing to fall okay so anyway let's get started I'm not gonna finish my whole hair in camera uh, but I'm gonna start by applying it so you guys can see the process and all that stuff no voy, en, no voy a terminar todo el cabello en cámara simplemente voy a empezar con aplicarme el producto para que vean la consistencia etc y, um, cómo se, y voy a describir cómo se siente en mi cabello Espero que tengan un buen día. I hope you guys having a great day. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm trying to survive people, as usual. Estoy tratando de sobrevivir. Mm. Right there. Primero me, me, me estoy tratando de dividir el cabello lo más que yo pueda para cuando me haga los twists, queden en la forma que deseo o que quiero. Y el ruido que escuchan de, um, el ruido que escuchan yo cepillándome el cabello es el ruido de las celdas del cepillo. No es que me estoy um, rompiendo el cabello. The noise that you hear from the brush is just, you know, the, um, it's just the brush, you know, the plastic brush. It's not, it's not that I'm ripping up my hair. And probably this video is going to be long. Y probablemente este videito va a ser largo. That's what happens. Eso es lo que pasa. When you don't have a camera. Cuando no tiene una cámara. Anyways. All right. So. No más que yo puedo. Okay. Voy a empezar de la parte de atrás. You can see the hair. Okay. Buen día para ti. Aquí, Italia, son casi las 5 de la tarde. Ah, ok. Aquí son como las 10. Las 10 y uh, 20. Yeah, algo por ahí. Las 10 y 20. <laughs> Something's out of fit. All right. So, anyway. Usted se puede aplicar el, el aceite cuando se aplica el producto o se aplica el aceite primero y después el, el producto. Eso no importa. Mucha gente dirá, pero ¿por qué tú te aplicas aceite? ¿Cuáles son los beneficios del aceite? Cuando uno tiene pelo como yo, afro textura, puede ser un rizo comprimido, que es un rizo pegado, kinky, afro. Uno necesita hidratar. Usted no hidrata con el aceite, usted hidrata con el agua. Eh, y con el producto, con cualquier producto que usted tenga, no tiene que ser este, ¿ok? Y usted sella esa hidratación o humectación con el aceite. 
si eso hace sentido. Si usted tiene el pelo lacio, probablemente usted no necesita tanto aceite o no necesita aceite para nada. Ok, a lot of people, um, they probably wonder, what is the purpose of you putting, putting oil on your hair? Well, we all know Afro texture hair, black hair in general, ethnic hair, uh, needs um, moisture. And you need to seal that moisture. And the way I seal that moisture is... Um, is by putting oil in it. So first you hydrate your hair, and the way you hydrate Afro texture hair, of course, is water, H2O. And then after you put that water in, then you need to seal that moisture, and the way you seal that moisture is with oil, okay? And I thought the product was gonna be, again, super thick, which that's what I was expecting. <laughs> so I don't know how this is gonna come out. Um, usually when it says butter, when the product says, you know, hair butter is thick, and I, I, I love thick products. This, this is kinda watery for me. This was kinda like a, hmm, like a conditioner type of thing. I wasn't really expecting, I wasn't really looking for that. Usualmente cuando el producto dice cuando el producto dice hair butter es más espeso, pero en esta ocasión como que está muy líquido, you know? Y yo no me esperaba eso, so esperemos que tenga buenos resultados. Porque la razón por la cual lo compré es porque decía hair butter. Si no hubiese comprado el otro. Anyway, So I apply a little bit more, and I'm gonna put it in my hair. Voy a aplicar un poquito más, disculpen el pelo, y lo voy a, a poner en mi cabello. And I don't know, I'm not feeling this so far. Hasta ahora, eh, no estoy impresionado. I take two strands. Cojo dos hebras de cabello y empiezo a torcer. Or twist. No hacer trenzas, porque trenzas son de tres. I call it twist. I, I don't call it braids because braids will be three. So I'm twisting. So I'm, I'm doing twist. And as I twist, I, uh, you know, try to twist separately so they can lock. Um, a medida que voy torciendo las dos hebras de cabello, voy separándolas para que se cierren, para que se junten bien, you know, si eso hace sentido. Y al final, usted puede ponerle un rolito, ¿ok? Para que no se salga. At the end, you can put a little roller. O puede torcer el cabello así. O you can twist your hair like this. Buenos días, Jocelyn. All right. Let's go with the other one. Vamos con el próximo. Me gustaría poner un poquito de música. <laughs> Pero YouTube siempre. Ay, coño. All Cuando usted tiene el pelo mojado, usted debe manejar su cabello bien 
uh, cuidadosamente porque el cabello mojado afro textura tiende a partirse muy fácil. Okay. El cabello, cuando está, cuando está mojado, el cabello afro textura es, afro textura es el más uh, frágil. So, manejenlo con cuidado y empiecen desenredándose uh, desde las puntas hacia la raíz. Okay. When you have afro texture hair, my suggestions, uh, you know, afro texture hair, black hair, ethnic hair, is um very fragile when it's wet okay so i think we should take the proper precautions to detangle the hair so you of course you start from the bottom and then you work your way up but when you're when you're detangling your hair Hace tiempo que no me hago twist. It has been a long time I don't do twist. After you do all this process, what you can do is you can go ahead and get under the hooded dryer if you want to or you have three options either get under the hooded dryer or let it dry naturally just walking around clean your house do something or just you know just chill and watch tv or be on your computer and have a ceiling fan you know either a floor fan the the fans that you put in the floor or the ceiling fan and it'll dry it up you know Usted tiene tres opciones o varias opciones cuando termina de hacer sus twists o sus torcidos de dos hebras. Usted puede meterse a la secadora de rolos y estoy limpiando el pelo y um, quedarse ahí por un par de minutos o usted puede um, dejarlos que se sequen a lo natural. O si no, pues se pone a ver televisión o se pone en la computadora, en su laptop, como ustedes deseen. Y buscan un, un abanico de piso o el floor fan. O el ceiling, perdón, el ceiling y ya. Saludos, Nina. Ok. Esta es la consistencia. La consistencia es como un acondicionador. Eh. And let me tell you that I'm not being um, a, a sponsor for this, okay? I bought this with my own money. Y déjenme decirles que no estoy auspiciando este producto, simplemente lo estoy tratando y lo compré con mi dinero. Okay? With my hard working money. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Traten de cuando ustedes hagan los torcidos de los hebras, que es lo que estoy haciendo yo, o los, o los two strand twists, um, traten de coger la raíz lo más que usted pueda. Para que la raíz quede definida y estiradita. ¿Ok? Algunas veces, cuando torcimos, cuando torcemos, vamos a tener enredos. Usted se pilla y continúa. Ya, yep, I'm sure, people. I hope there's music. I hope so. And then you twist like this. Uh, y después lo twisten. Déjenme leer los, me los comentarios. I'm going to read a little bit of the comments while we're here. 
Oops, and I don't want to knock out the camera. Okay, Lonnie says, I was going to buy this too, but never did. You know what, Lonnie? This is not what I expected, you know. I don't know about you, but when I see products that said buttercream, butter, buttercream, or whatever, I expect them thick. I don't find this thick like that. I found it like a like a conditioner. Um Natural Cleopatra says Hola Michiwishi, your hair is looking great. Thank you so much, sweetie. Yup, all that hair. But people don't know how to handle, they don't want to handle my hair. Okay, same here. All right, so, so far, it's not perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm not a stylist. I'm just a regular human being. So, I'm trying to do my best with my hair and trying to keep that natural going, okay? <laughs> so, so far, this is the way it's looking. Hasta ahora, mi gente, no soy una estilista, es obvio. Estoy tratando de hacer lo mejor que yo puedo con lo que tengo, lo mejor que yo puedo con mi cabello. Mantener ese rizo kinky natural que Dios me dio activo. Y esto es lo único que puedo hacer hasta ahora, ¿ok? So, esperemos que funcione esto. All right, oh, sí. Hmm. Just very carefully stretch it out. And as I'm going like that, you see me going like that because I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm putting hair in the floor. Well, I have a towel in here, but what I'm trying to tell you, yeah, my, my hair falls out. That's just normal, you know? And especially now, now that I dye my hair, it, it probably might fall out a little bit more. I'm not even worried. I'm not worried, because if I had to start over with my journey, I start at this point, you know, my, my hair is not the main focus in my life, so I will start over, I will, I will, <laughs> I'm so depressed right now with the situation of my child and school and all that stuff, that I, <laughs> I don't care, one of these days you will feel me, you will look at me, I'll be tempted to just take the, you know, the cutting machine and just, I don't care. I'm doing what I can. A este punto, en, en este punto, mi pelo no es el enfoque, o sea, en mi vida. En el video, sí, en mi vida, no. El pelo mío no es el enfoque. So, si me, you know, ustedes me ven haciendo así porque cada vez que me cepillo, el pelo se me cae. Eso es algo normal. El pe, eh, uh, al, todo el mundo muda cabello. Pero también se le cae el pelo a uno eh, un poco cuando usted hace tratamientos químicos en el cabello como tintes alisados y esas cosas. So, a este punto, yo no me preocupo de eso. Si tengo que empezar mi trayectoria de nuevo, le empiezo. O sea, si me tengo que cortar todo el, ca el cabello y tengo que empezar a raspar coco, también lo hago porque ese no es el enfoque en mi vida en estos momentos. Hay un montón de cosas más importantes que el cabello. Ok, perdonen que fue mi marido llamando, como siempre. Llámala a la hora que no tiene que llamar. Y ya mismo llama de nuevo. I'm sorry, that was my husband calling. You know, he always had the, the, the wrong time. And he probably might call again. You know, so. Yeah, I'm so sorry that that cut off. Anyway. Um, okay. Have you ever thought of making your own hair products? No, I haven't. Nah. You know, because I usually, I usually use, uh, you know, I usually stick with the same products. You know, Dominican products have been uh, good in my hair. Mostly the leave-in conditioners and the um, deep conditioners. Not so much the shampoos. I don't really care about the shampoos like that. But the leave-in conditioners are great. And the, um, of course, the deep conditioners. If you feel your hair dry 
Again, you hydrate your hair. How you hydrate your hair? H2O water. Si ustedes sienten el cabello seco, ustedes lo hidratan. ¿Cómo lo van a hidratar? Con agua. H2O. I bought the emergency from... And how does that work for you? <laughs> how does that emergency work for you? Because I used to use it also. Okay. Remember, even if, they, even if the conditioner doesn't say to get under the hooded dryer, and I always say this, when you get under the hooded dryer, it's like more benefit for your hair, you know? Okay, got it after heat damage. Okay, when you get under the hooded dryer with a conditioner, that is more benefit to your hair. So even if it doesn't say, you know, trying to get under the hooded dryer, or if you don't have a hooded dryer, you can buy some of the heating caps at Dollar Tree, baby, $1, and just do that, you know? And that helps. Yo estaba diciendo que si ustedes no tienen un ejemplo, después del acondicionador, yo les rec recomiendo a todo el mundo que se metan debajo de una secadora de rolos. Eh, no todo el mundo tiene seca secadora de rolos, so, la otra opción sería, vete a Dollar Tree, si tienes un Dollar Tree o si no un Dollar General o si no Walmart o si no Target, <ríe> lo que tengan. Y entonces, um, compren, hay unos gorritos térmicos que vienen en un color... Uh, un color dorado, eso se llaman gorritos térmicos. Y eso, cuando usted se pone el acondicionador, se pone el gorrito, es más, y se pone una toalla cali calientita así, y eso también uh, penetra en el cabello, eso es muy bueno también. Oops, oops. You see what I'm saying? Sorry. Ok. Ok. Yes, it does help. Okay, and I'm I'm trying to read all the comments. Sorry. Annette Min says, "Hey, girl, I'm gonna forward this." Okay, oops, come on, boo. Okay, I'm gonna forward this to the owner once you upload. Ah, see, support, support. You have a channel? Because if you have a channel, I subscribe. Support our YouTubers. That's right. Okay. All right. I'll be supporting as soon as I finish uploading and stuff like that. You gotta, I'm gonna check out your material. You got a new subscriber. <laughs> All right. So. And like I said, I'm doing like that because my hair is, is um, falling out some of the hair. Okay, so. Uh, yo le estaba diciendo a una muchacha, una muchacha, una seguidora mía me dijo, mira, cuando subas el video, yo voy a, fíjate, lo voy a compartir con la compañía que, que la cual tú estás, este, no representando el producto que tú estás usando. Y yo le dije, ah, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. ¿Tú tienes canal? Y ella me dijo, sí. Y yo, pues no te preocupes, que cuando yo termine aquí, yo me suscribo al canal tuyo. Y... Cambiando el tema entre paréntesis, apoyémonos unos a los otros, ¿ok? Si la persona te está apoyando a ti, ¿por qué tú no apoyar, apoyarla a ella si tienen un canal? Eso yo siempre lo he dicho desde el principio. Nadie es mejor que nadie. I always said that since the beginning. If you have, you know what I'm saying? Like, as YouTubers, we should be supporting each other, you know? Okay, apply. Okay. 
¿Dónde está mi gente latina que no los escucho? Están bien callados y no, puede, y no, no me pueden decir, ah, porque tú estás hablando todo ese inglés y yo no entiendo, porque estoy hablando inglés, pero estoy hablando en español también. No hay excusa. <risa> Thank you, I, I agree with you. All right, so. Okay. And remember, I'm not gonna finish my whole um, hair on camera. <laughs> so you'll be here forever, okay? And nobody's gonna watch a long video like that. But you know, I just wanna talk to you about the product. Your hair is really growing, Michi. Yes. Yes, it's, grow it's growing, and um, I I'm going to say it's, it's kind of growing naturally, but, you know, let's go back a few months ago. You know, in one of my coupons, I bought some um, vitamins, hair, skin, and nails. So, I guess that also contributed, but I, I still had long hair. But that, right now, I think that if I if I get a, a blowout if, or if I... Uh, fl um, If I uh, blow dry my hair, it'll be just a little longer now. But they still gotta cut my ends, so. Vitamins now. Wasteland. I passed Wasteland. My hair, like if you go back to the videos, I, I passed Wasteland. Cause I, and, and I know that I'm short, but I'm like, on, I, right now I'm on, like kind of like on top of my butt. Now it's all about like maintenance, you know? Yeah, I blow dry my hair on a low heat now because it's so thick. Exactly. You know what? One thing, you know, talking about um, low heat and you know protecting the hair from the heat. I know that a lot of you do not agree with you know uh, Dominican salons. They use too much heat, but and I'm gonna address that right now. Hey, Bobby. And I'm gonna address that right now. You know, I go to the Dominican salon once a year. I understand that they use a lot of heat, but in order to get this type of hair lay, in my opinion, of course, you may have another opinion. Uh, yeah, we need that heat. We need that heat, you know, um, to maintain. Because what happens is, especially in the weather, you know, there's so many challenges. The weather, if it's too hot, if it's too hot, I don't get Dominican blowouts because it's going to be a waste of time and money. The blowout is not gonna stay. My hair is gonna sweat, so I usually get the Dominican blowouts when um, it's holidays. You know, in November, in November and December gets kind of cold in here in, in GA, and usually uh, sometimes I go up north. So yeah, I will get them when I'm when it's cold, when it's cold weather, not when it's hot weather. When it's hot weather, I recommend braids, twist, all natural style, washing goes. Which you guys know that is not a simple wash and go. Look at me now. I'm not even doing a wash and go. I'm doing a two strand twist. And I'll be here forever. I'm going to be here forever. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. So, um, yeah. I'm going to dress her right now. Hold on. What is IKR means? You know, when it comes to slang on computer, sometimes I just know OMG, which is oh my God, um, WTF, which is you know what, but some of the stuff, I don't know. Oh, I K no, I know, right, oh, okay. <laughs> See, oh my God, all right, thank you. 
I live in the underground. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know those meanings. I'll be like, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to answer everything. Hola, Munchi! Munchi in the house. You know, I got some of you, don't get jealous now, but I got some of you that are my favorite, my favorite, favorite subscribers. You have been there since the beginning. And sometimes you haven't been there since the beginning, but once you enter my world, once you enter the channel, you guys stay there with me. No matter if the video comes crooked, if my English is broken, if, um, you know, I don't have the right equipment, you guys are always like, yeah, you know, like hyping me off and I love it. I love it because I'm not I'm not a special person on YouTube like that. I don't have that many subscribers, you know, and, and what I do is nothing special. What I do, so a anybody can do it and even sometimes better. So it really doesn't. So I really appreciate every single person that is here for me, you know, because of me, because you like it, because you like what you see on the channel, etc. Uh, let me answer some questions. I'm sorry. I just stop. Ooh, I gotta go slow. Okay, Lani says, I love Dominican Republic Salon. My hair never fell out because I get the roller set. Okay, oh, 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 oh. I got the roller set, went to the black salon, and then flat irons gave me heat damage. You know, I cannot, I cannot knock both. But one thing about black salons or african-american salon my thing is you know when they see my hair <laughs> they don't want you know they don't want to deal with it and my hair is not that difficult it's just it's just too much it's just too much and you don't want to be there you want to be hanging out it's friday you don't want to be all day in the sun. i get it but i'm paying you for that I, i'm paying you i'm paying you for a service and you don't want to give me that service so you know it's kind of like damn it's bomber you know same thing you same thing most of you uh, of my um, African American subscribers and uh, and other, you will feel the same way with Dominican salons. You probably enter to one of one of the Dominican salon and they just don't want to deal with the hair either because it's too tight. You know, it's a it's tight coil. It has a different texture. Maybe you you think which in most cases I'm very honest. Okay, so I'm not gonna cover the sun with one hand. In most cases, they they may be talking shit about your hair. Um, but you know, as well, I have, I had bad experience also in the black salon, you know, this, this, this right here, this color right here was a piece of shit, you know, this was wrong. I asked for a red color. This is not red in my opinion. Um, and it didn't took all the way. Uh, just like one of my subscribers said, Tyrone said, well, <laughs> did she run out of color? Probably she ran out of color, but she didn't tell me anything, you know, she, it's just, you know, and then. After that, she didn't style the hair. Then when I asked her, well, you can do just, can you do me two braids? Just, I just need two cornrows, two nice smooth cornrows, one here, one here, no more. Oh, no, oh, no, I don't braid. Yeah, you do, bitch. You, you braid. Yeah, you do braid. You braid. You just don't want to do it. Because again, you do sewings and you do all type of stuff. And in order for you to do that, you braid. And if you don't braid, let's say, let's give you the benefit of the doubt. If you don't braid, your partner braids. <laughs> You know, so what you gonna you gonna charge me more? So I give you already one seven five plus tip, one seven five plus tip, and now I'm, I'm gonna give you more for ah oh, okay fine, and I, and and she knows she fucked up. She know that because you know what? I'm sorry. Now Annette, you're not gonna be able to, <laughs> to share this video with those people because I'm cursing now. But that's all right. Whatever. I'm gonna I'm still gonna be me. Look now I'm not gonna. Um, she knows she messed up. She knows she messed up because she kept telling me, oh yeah, it's right up. You know, if, we, if you want to next time, we can go ahead and do that. You know you messed up. When you, when I see my color and you see it too, there's a big mirror and you see the color that it took, that it took halfway, but it didn't took the whole hair. You know this, you know this man, like Smokey, <laughs> you know this. So stop playing, you know? And me, when I, you know, I have too many things going on, so I get angry. And um, I'm, I get frustrated. So I pray 
within and it's not being a punk or nothing like that is that you know i watch scare tactics and i watch a lot of, i like i love reality shows but i also love documentaries and every time i you know watch like um lockdown and shit like that and i see the sales going clack clack i said to myself you know what let's behave let's you know let's keep it together it's not even worth it so i just said to her uh, ah, okay i give her the money here here, this is the this is my last, my first and last one seventy five, one hundred seventy five dollars that you will get from me, of course. Go ahead and take that, enjoy it, whatever. I won't come back, you know. And now I'm in the search <laughs> of a nice, good uh, stylist that can do it all, you know. Okay, I first started watching cooking videos. I'm so greedy. I will watch both English and Spanish videos. That's what I, I, Annette Mitt says. You said, okay, Lani says, I'm not knocking blacks. Uh, they use too much heat at that, much heat, that's all. Yeah, and, and Dominican salons use too much heat also, but it, like it's the, uh, but I, at the same time, it's like depending on the person, you know? Oops, okay. Lani says, a lot of stylists need professionalism one-on-one -on -one class. Yes, and I agree with you. I agree 100%. 100% on that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Annette Mitt says, you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't never lie, Lonnie. Okay. All right, you guys are talking. Not the jail door. So yeah, the jail. Yep. When they goes click like that. No not ready i'm not ready for that i'm not ready you know no mm -mm. <laughs> i um uh, <laughs> i can't say that much because my daughter's still like she's here but no i'm not ready for that okay i i i love men and i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say that um sometimes you will see a woman and you will admire that woman but not that way and, and if i was to admire a woman it wouldn't be one of those. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, I can't do it. You're not going to make me do what I don't want to do. <laughs> and I know it's going personal, but you know. I like watching smaller channels, less nonsense in the video. Straight to the point. That's right. That's right. Okay. So let me see. What's C what is CTFU? See? What's that? Is that calm the fuck down? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. See what I'm saying? You guys gotta teach me something. Crack the fuck. Oh, okay. I was close. I was close. I was close. Okay, now I know um I know um O M F. I know that. <laughs> oh Jesus. I love y'all. I love you. That's right. Conversation. I'm a talkative person. <laughs> Try to live my life as positive as possible. Okay. Oh, esto se puso de cremita. Let me see. You was like, oh my God, what? Yeah. You know, it gets serious in here. I don't, I don't mind, you know? 
again, again, I'm, I'm right now, you know, I'm going, I've been depressed, but I'm going to a depression right now. I just want my baby girl to be okay. And, you know, like I'm, I'm feeling for her. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, make the best out of it because that's all you can do. Don't give up in this world. This world is difficult. So for whoever says, ah, it's not hard. Life is not hard. Yes, it is. Okay. Especially when you're broke. <laughs> when you don't have, you know, money like that. You know what I'm saying? You only have money to survive. So all you have, all you can do is, you know, be a good citizen, basically. Be a good human being. Don't envy nobody like that. Don't be malice like that, you know. And trying to do the best that you can. For you and your family or either for yourself if you don't have a family like that. ¿Dónde están mis latinos que no me están hablando? No me están hablando, no me están diciendo nada. Después no quiero cuando corte el video de que... Ay, porque el video estaba en inglés. Y yo no entiendo inglés. ¿Por qué tú no haces videos en, en, en español? Porque estoy dando la oportunidad para contestar cualquier tipo de pregunta. You know? I'm giving you guys an opportunity, you know, my Spanish speakers, to go ahead and ask me questions. We are live and direct. And you guys are quiet. And then, you know, when I put up the video, then you are going to be like, <laughs> you don't do no Spanish videos no more. What happened with the Spanish videos? Well, I'm, I'm making them the same video. If you don't, if you don't talk, I don't know, I, I can't read no minds. Si ustedes no hablan, yo no, yo no leo mente, yo no soy Walter Mercado. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, I don't want to raise no money. Okay, Georgia Afro Cuban dice, estamos aquí, cariño, that's right. Support, okay. Life is hard, but this... Great therapy, just have positive people in your life. That's right. So we don't have no time, nobody. We don't have no time for no bullshit, you know. So I felt like if I get, for example, little um, little incidents like my hair, I could have just said whatever to that lady, and I could have just said, you know, you you know, you fucked up right in her face, and I would have been like, look, look at this, man. This took color. This didn't took color. This whole time you are complaining. And, you know, you kind of like praying because I hate that because they're like, oh, oh, my God, pray for me. They, you know, you're talking to the other style that's talking about pray for me because you don't want to do my hair. Why you just don't say it? Why you just say, I, well, you know what? I'm booked that day. And I, I get I get the point. You know, I get the hint. But you don't, you know, don't you want to get some money? The reason why you got into this business is because you you well, supposedly because you love hair. Now, you can't expect. To only get clients that have short hair or easy hair to manage, if that makes sense. You know, or, or just doing a sewing and a weave, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get all type of clientele. And every time I go, and I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I don't want to offend nobody, but it's my truth. I know you probably, some people may not like it and trying to compare. That's Okay, sorry, sorry. We're back life again. My husband, I told you. I told you he was going to call. I told you he was going to call again. And I told him um, <laughs> that I was doing a video. And I don't put the the phone on airplane mode. Um, I just don't do it, you know. I just don't do it. I'm going to read your comments right now. I'm still halfway. Sorry. I'm going to read the comments right now, okay, people? Just hold on. Let me get to the bottom. Oof. <laughs> Let me get to the bottom of the twist. 
twist that, twist this. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Shamia Warner says, uh, the lady should be more considerate about what she did. You wasn't happy about the job she did. Yeah, she and and again, she was trying to convince herself. You know, but and when, but when you say things like, "Oh, you know, like, oh, it's red, it's red." And I'm like, and I told her, I, I know that you in order for for me to achieve the color, you have to lift the color. And and the only way that you're going to lift um my natural dark dark brown going to black hair is um Bleaching you had to bleach it and that and I was fine with it and I was fine with the consequences I've seen a lot of people on, on YouTube with natural kinky coily hair and they dye their hair and they their hair looks great You know, she just didn't want to take the time uh, Because it's gonna be too much that I understand that it's gonna be damaged But I, I want right now. I want that damage. I want to look I want to look different. I want to look different I, uh, You know, so when she finished with this color, it's kind of like You know and then she's like, well, you know, you can come back and we, we can try to make it lighter, lighter if you want or whatever. And it's like, you already disappoint me. You already, you're, you already disappoint me. Because when I ask you once again, simple thing as braiding the hair, you let me walk out of the salon with my hair in a pony, wet, wet and in a ponytail. Yeah, you did offer to blow it out and put it in a bun. I don't want that. I don't want the heat. I just wanted a braid. That's it. So basically, at the end of the day, they're doing what they want to do, you know. I still haven't find a um, I still haven't find a stylist that can do it absolutely all, all, you know. Uh, again, the the only reason why I didn't went to the Dominican salon that I usually go now, <laughs> cause I've been going to so much other salons and I needed to look, mira, cut it, cut it. I needed to cut it off. Because, yeah, they were doing great things in my hair, but when it, when it comes to compromising about the price or when it comes to, you know, like putting, okay, I'm going to put your business out there. Help me out. They, they, they are greedy. Greedy. Okay? They're greedy. They don't want to deal with that. So I need, I need to let you go. I need to let you go because you're not the only stylist. That's why. I need to let you go, man. And even though you didn't ask me to, re and I keep talking about this because it's true. You know, this is behind the scenes, what's happening behind the scenes. Even though you didn't ask me to record, you got your business set up basically, but still, but you see a person, you know, that is, that is basically, okay, I want to help myself, but in order to help myself, you have to start from the bottom. So I'm trying to, okay, let, let's come to an agreement, you know, let's come, I, I'm, I'm the faithful customer you will ever have. You know, when I'm faithful, I'm faithful, I'm there, you know. But you always want to mess it up. Okay. I don't have no time for you either. And that was at a time that I had a rough, like I had a rough uh, time, you know. I had a rough time because at that time I, I didn't have a uh, job, you know. I was a stay-at-home mom. I've been a stay-at-home mom since, well, it feels like since forever. So now I found I, I found a job where, you know, it's east, it's, um... It it um it allows me to spend time with my daughter more, you know, which that's what I needed because I don't have nobody to left her with. My husband works, I work, and even though you know I don't really want to talk about that, but even though I have stepdaughters, they have their own life, they have their own stuff, they live far away now, so yeah. Let me see what I do. Trying to get together. Anyway. Lani says, it look it took me a long time to let go <laughs> the anger of dad damaging my hair with heat damage. I wanted to be her <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, because you know, like you know, Afro textured hair, black hair, it's just it's um I'm gonna say um I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's just it's hard to to grow. Like every hair grows at the same pace supposedly, but for us 
and I do mean us, you know, when our hair grows, it's like, yes, like it's a, it's a winning, it's a, it's a victory to the point that some people may, that you may wear your natural, you may wear wigs or whatever, or so on or whatever, but then sometimes you may wear your natural hair and people still think that it's a weave or, or a piece. So when you have that, you know, this type of hair that I have, it's long, it's full, you know? And I, I, that looks like a weed. That looks like a sewing. You know, when I straighten my hair, and I, that looks, you know, everybody want to try to reach to touch it. And I'll be like, don't touch. <laughs> I'll be like, don't touch. I don't want nobody to be touching my hair. No. Get out with your bad vibe, you know. Yes, that's behind the scenes stuff. Gets real, but... We pay the radio and stuff or business cars. This is the new way. If you on YouTube and talking about a company, the subscribers will support. Yeah, well, some of y'all support. I agree. Some of y'all support. Others just don't care. They're here for the material, you know? And that's fine. I'll give you the material, but, you know. I stop a, a lot of times go up on my way, you know, st extra stuff that I have to do and you're not supporting the channel. Like, nah, I can't be doing that. Okay. Okay, let me stop aquí. Let me see. Okay. Now my hair is getting drier. El pelo se está secando. A medida que esto se está secando, lo siento seco. So. I'm going to hydrate again. Vamos a hidratarlo de nuevo. And going back to, um, you know, hair and stuff like that. When I was in my, when I was in, in middle school when I was in middle middle school I always had my hair long but not as long as this but I always had my hair long like up to my back and all that stuff and I used to sit um, in front of these two girls and the you know they were Puerto Rican as me as well but you, you guys know that we come in all different shades and grades so you know when I used to be relaxed and I have my hair long I remember they used to go ahead and go like that. Like, you know, like put, um, pull my hair to see if it was a weave, if it was some pieces. And at that time, I didn't know what, what that meant. Because back home, we don't use that. The least that we could have used, it was, um, and that was in the, in the 90s. The least that we could have used is just like little, like the fake buns or whatever. But we didn't know nothing about extension weave. Like, we didn't know nothing about the weave world. I found out about the weave and the hair world once I came out to the U.S., especially once I came here to Georgia. I found out about, like, oh, wow, you know, like a transformation for real. Like, that's crazy, you know? I, and I was amazed, you know? But at that time, they, they, they would used to pull my hair to see if it was real. To see if, if I didn't have no tracks in there. You know? That's where a lot of fights begin. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to say this in Spanish. Cuando yo estaba en, no, ele, no en elemental, um, yo creo que se llama intermedia. No es high school, pero es este, eh, yo creo que es intermedia que se llama. Intermedia, yo siempre me, yo eh, siempre he tenido el pelo largo, no tan largo como lo tengo ahora. Yo siempre he tenido el, el pelo, maybe, como hasta aquí, y alisado, químicamente tratado. Ok, y ustedes saben que nosotros los latinos en general venimos de todos los colores y de todos los sabores, <risa> uh, de todas las texturas de pelo. Pero yo me sentaba en, en, en la clase y había 
dos muchachas puertorriqueñas más claras que yo con el pelo lacio y ellas venían, una de ellas venía y me cogía y me jalaba el pelo a ver si yo tenía un tipo de extensión o un tipo de, um, de peluco o lo que sea y ahí es que se formaban las peleas por eso es muy importante cuando una mujer negra latina you know no es que tengas el pelo lacio, pero tiene este, este tipo de, de, de pelo abundante así. Eso, eso nos hace sentir súper bien. Eso nos hace sentir como que, wow, eso es como, esta es la corona que uno tiene. You feel proud. Tú te sientes orgullosa de tu cabello. No importa si es kinky o whatever, o si, este, entre comillas, como le dicen en, en, en varios países, incluyendo el mío, cuando el pelo es así kinky, ah, pelo malo. No es ningún pelo malo. Es, es un pelo grifo, es un pelo grueso, es un pelo kinky. Es un pelo fuerte. Es un pelo que este, you know, aguanta presión, como yo digo. Nosotros no sabíamos de, de, de extensiones ni, da, ni nada de esas cosas. Lo más que se, que se... Que yo veía en Puerto Rico algunas veces eran moñitos plásticos. Pero de estas cosas así, de, de, del mundo de las pelucas, ¿cómo tú puedes... Tener una peluca que se vea tan, tan realística. Eso yo lo aprendí aquí cuando yo vine a Estados Unidos. De grande, claro está. Pues yo nací aquí. No en Georgia, yo nací en New Jersey. Pero cuando um, vine para acá de nuevo, el mundo de las pelucas, así, mira, esto aquí, esto allá, en Georgia. Este, esta es supuestamente la capital del, the, the capital of hair, you know, la capital del pelo, you know. So, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Munchi as this says, one time someone put their hands in my curls early in the morning and I did wash and go. Okay. Surprise her whole hand was wet. <laughs> she ew. No fuck her. She shouldn't be touching your hair. Why are you touching some other people's hair? I don't get it. I don't get it. You know? Queen K says, when do you move to When do you move here to Georgia? A few years ago, but to be exact, just hold on a minute. Yeah, because I still have my, I still save, I'm very, you know, I save everything. I'm like, I'm, I have like a little hoarder um, thing. Like I, I save everything, everything that is important to me. So I still have the flight ticket, one way flight ticket to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Damn, that fast damn yeah okay so i purchased my ticket it was in a in a fly uh i think fly agency whatever from the street we have a lot of those right there i didn't purchase it online at that time at that time i didn't know nothing about online like that um but i came to atl february 20 2007 and it was on a tuesday so I bought it here. Turismo Tony Perez. There's a company in Puerto Rico that sells flight tickets. I don't know if they it, if if they went bankrupt or closed right now, but this is where I bought my my ticket and I came here. You know, <laughs> so. Es verdad, orgullo siempre de nuestros pajones. Mm -hmm. Exacto. I hope I'm not boring you guys. You know, again, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a talker. I'm a talker. I like to talk and conversate. You know, when I see a subscriber or a somebody that, you know, be asking me a lot of questions and then you stay quiet and then you don't, uh, there's a problem, you know? You all right, baby? Yeah, I'm not to Okay, sugar. All right. Is Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop really Puerto Rican? Queen K asked. She alleged that she's from Puerto Rico and she, she, she gives me the bite that she is from Puerto Rico because when she speaks Spanish, she's speaking like us. And not only because of that, 
she uh, she said that she's from Carolina. First she said that she was from Ponce, which is a town in Puerto Rico, and then she flipped and said that she was from Carolina, which is another town from Puerto Rico. So I, I think I think yeah, if she said that she's from there. She said that she's from there. From there, she talked just like us, you know, when she talks Spanish, she had the 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 same slang uh, that we have, and that's how we can identify where are you from basically it's not by color that's so stupid and i have had that question before you know they used to tell me oh you dominican you dominican with that and i, and I don't have nothing against dominican I, I, I love my dominican people i love my neighbors but no i'm puerto rican my father's puerto rican my mother's puerto rican you know ah but if it, it, i i, I had somebody tell me well but if you don't but if you're puerto rican why you have dominican hair so ignorant because they're ignorant like that you know meaning why why you have kinky curly hair Stupid ass question ever, you know? You will get ignorance like that, you know? So, when you don't know about yourself, you have, when you don't know about yourself, you kind of like settle for everything, but when you know about yourself, you just, you know, you answer correctly, you know? You know what to say. I was just wondering because some Puerto Ricans say they don't claim Jocelyn. Yeah, well, I will say that they don't claim Jocelyn because of her behavior. Be you know, yeah, because of her behavior, her, beha her behavior is kind of like, come on, now you represent, you know, you acting like that. So everybody's going to be like, no, no, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. But yeah, she she, she may be. She just, you know, she's just a, a little, a combination, in my opinion, of course, between bipolar and hood and, and all this stuff. And, and they said that she used a lot of cocaine. So <laughs> I don't know. So, okay. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, no. I don't want to block nobody. Hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Si se nota por acento. Exacto, Munchi. Tú sabes tu cultura. Seguro que no se, se nota por acento. No se nota por color. So, cuando alguien me... Cuando I, um, I heard a lot of people say... And I'm going to say this in Spanish and in English. I heard a lot of people say... Um, oh, yeah. You know, um, you can tell. You can tell that um you got your hair uh, that um you're dominican because of the hair because of the accent no you can't that's so ignorant no you can you cannot tell a per you cannot tell a person that they look this way because of of how they look you know or because of their hair and some sometimes it's not even because of the accent because if you really think about it that person can be Puerto Rican and maybe they marry or, or maybe they are with somebody that is from other country y el acento se le pega. And then you tend to, to uh, not copy, but then you get used to their accent and then the accent reflects on you, you know? It's like my, my husband. My husband is Puerto Rican too, but he, my husband is New Yorican. <laughs> my husband is New Yorican, okay? I'm Puerto Rican, he's New Yorican. And there's some things that, and, and I know you as a it's the same thing. Well, not really, because I don't know, most, I'm not saying all, I'm just talking about my experience, but most Puerto Rican, they've never been on the island, and they don't know really culture like that, you know? They just know about the, the U.S. culture, but they don't know about our culture like that. The only culture that I know is like, you know, okay, eating rice and beans and stuff like that, hey, wepa, and shit like that, and it's not only that. It's not only that, okay? It's more than that, okay? It's more than that. So, um, yeah, my husband is New Yorkian, and there's some words that he don't understand from me, you know? And both, are, both of his parents are Puerto Rican, both of my parents are Puerto Rican. He's just a little, like, two shades lighter than me, you know? And he have, um, not straight hair, but he has wavy, soft hair. I have <laughs> kinky a little bit, a mixture of tight coil in the front and a little loose, a mixture of that, you know? And sometimes he may say words and I had to correct him, you know, but I correct him out of love. I'm not gonna, you know. So he will say, for example, no, porque la carpeta. What are you talking about? <laughs> la, la carpeta, he means that, la carpeta, carpet. La carpeta, no, that's not, you, that's not how you say it. La alfombra, okay? Carpet, alfombra. You know what I'm saying? Or he will say, um, Things like, <laughs> things like, a lot of, a lot of Puerto Ricans do this. He will, uh, he will stretch the R. No, porque antes yo vi una jata. <laughs> una jata, no, una rata. Like he will, you know, it's just, it, you know, we have fun, but I correct him because that's not the proper way. 
o cambia, cambia el televisor, cambia el televisor. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah, sounds like the same. <laughs> Sounds like the same difference us African Americans have between African and West Indian. Yeah, probably. Or, or like if um I can't wait. Like I wish one day I will I, I would like to go to to Louisiana. I like I like I like the um of course I like the food. I like Popeyes, but I know that that's not the only thing. There's more things about that. But I like I like the 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 mighty grass. I see it, you know. And I like the the accent, you know. <laughs> Even though it's southern, I like that. I like it's cool, you know. I like it. So yeah, you will have things like that. Oh my goodness! So just remember that you know, to my YouTubers, um, you know, my young YouTubers. If you're Puerto Rican or what or whatever race you are, be just be proud of it. And again, know about your culture. Don't let nobody tell you about your culture. You know what I'm saying? Know about your culture. Feel proud of it. I'm I'm very proud. I'm very proud of my culture. You know. face wow 2750 this is long i might have to cut you all guys because i know i'm boring you and if i'm keep talking i'm not gonna be able to finish so i'm gonna finish this one i'll probably cut you off okay and thank you for sticking with me Para todas las personas que no entendieron lo que yo estaba diciendo, you know, estamos hablando también de cultura, además de eso. Mucha gente, um, hay mucha gente ignorante por ahí, mi gente. Y a mí usualmente, a mí no me, no me, a mí cuando yo le digo a una persona que me pregunta, porque siempre están preguntando, me pregunta, ¿dónde tú eres? Ah, ¿tú eres dominicana? Y yo, no, yo soy puertorriqueña. Yo no tengo nada contra los dominicanos, por supuesto. Ellos son, los, eh, ellos son nuestros vecinos. Um, en el Caribe. Pero yo no soy dominicana. Mi, mi mamá es puertorriqueña y mi papá es puertorriqueño. Y hay mucha gente, muchos de mi país, de Puerto Rico, que me dicen, sí, pero ¿qué tú pareces dominicana? Y entonces yo digo, ¿qué es parecer dominicana? Mi que soy negra. Y eso es, una, eso es una ignorancia bien grande, porque en toda Latino, Latinoamérica y en todas las tres islas, Puerto Rico, República Dominicana y, y, y Cuba, tienen las mismas cosas, tienen indio, español y negro, ¿ok? So eso es bien ignorante de tu parte decir eso. ¿Cómo tú puedes identificar una persona de, de qué país es? La mayoría de las veces, obviamente, por el acento. Y yo tengo un acento bien borico, aunque algunas veces lo mezclo con inglés y, y algunas veces lo, lo mezclo con lo de la calle, yo tengo un acento bien borico. Ok. <laughs> so. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off camera with my 10 people. I love you guys. But I'm going to come back with the wet results. Ok, and I hope you guys uh, tune in once I finish that. Yo estoy terminando ya. Este, lo que voy a hacer ahora es, voy a cortarlos, ok, gracias a las 10 personas que están apoyándome aquí. Y lo que voy a hacer es que cuando termine completamente el pelo, entonces uh, hago otro videito y les enseño el pelo mojado. Espero que cuando haga el video, sintonicen también. Ok. Puerto Rican, Queen and King. Saludos, Michi. Aloha, you keep it real. Uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to cut you off. And again, I'll come back with once I finish with this. I'm tired already. I, I, it's hot. <laughs> this has been 75, a.k.a. Michi, which you know what to do right now, people? Support. How? By thumbing it up. Hit that 
uh, like button. Make sure you share all this on all type of social media. Esta ha sido Sammy de Cinco, Akas, Michi, Wichi, y sigue sintonizando. No se olviden de uh, darme dedito arriba este video y compartir esto en todas las redes sociales. Deditos arriba, bye bye, cuídense, bye bye, and take care. Besos y abrazos. Bye.